Hello! In this video, we will add business rules to a process in process mining through tags. Every business process has previously agreed rules between the parties involved that condition the way the process should work by defining best practices, deadlines, resource allocation, among others. This ensures that the process will run as smoothly as possible, following all company policies and also requests from customers or other interested parties. These rules can be added to process mining dashboards by the use of tags, allowing the tracking of which, how many times and in which cases these rules were violated. So let's go to the workflow. Okay, here we are on my process mining application and the first thing we have to do is uploading our tag spreadsheet. Here it is and it contains the following attributes, the tag type, the tag name, its description and also its score. For this score, the bigger the value, the bigger the severity of its occurrence. All of the spreadsheet content is based upon previously agreed business rules. So let me just upload it. Here on the input folder. Let me just drag it here. And okay, our spreadsheet is here on our application now. To continue, we have to prep process our tags table to group our tags to each case. We can do this by creating a joint table. First, I'm going to create a new table group here. I will call it prep processing. And inside it, I will create our new joint table. Perfect, our new join table is created. Now we have to create expressions for each one of our tags. For now, I'll create expressions only for the multiple final checks needed and approved and paid by same user tags. So let me create a new folder here on the text for processing table. I'll call it supporting attributes. And inside it, I'll create the expressions. Ok, our expressions are now created. We have to create now the filter that will contain all of our defined tags. As I said, for now, it will only contain these two tags I just created. So I just go here on the supporting attributes folder and hit new expression. Ok, the filter is now created. With this filter, we can finally create our final tags table. So I just go here on the view tables folder and create a new join table. Let 
Let's create a color map based on the tag types. For this, I'll go here on the tags table. Inside it, I will create a new group once again called supporting attributes. And inside it, a new map. Now, let's create a filter that allows us to choose between tag name and tag type. I just go here on the supporting attributes folder, new control, and a selector. Now, a metric to count the number of tags, but first, let's give an ID to each tag using an expression. New expression. Okay, now I'll create a metric. Now I will create a side filter for the color maps. Now we can finally create our dashboard. For this, I'll go here to the Dashboards tab, and inside the Overview menu, I'll create a new tab called Tags. Inside it, a new dashboard based on the Tags table. I'll also call it Tags, and the title of this dashboard will be Which Tags Occur. I'll go here to the chart tab now. Perfect. Now here is our final dashboard. In this dashboard, we can see both the tag types that occurred. So, for example, here work and violation. And also, the tag names we defined. In our case, multiple final checks needed and approved and paid by same user. This means that two invoices were approved and paid by same, the same user. And this is a violation of a business rule we defined. And also that there were 314 invoices that needed multiple final checks another violation of a business rule. So, here we have the number of tags that violated these tags. So 314 and two. 
and well, that's it. This dashboard is very important to keep track of all situations in which some business rule is violated, since these violations mostly means delays in production and also an increase in costs, obviously. So, this is the end of our demo. I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time.